What's going on, guys? Ufficiali pronti. Ufficiali pronti. Hey, Aaron here. Uh, back in the Amalfi. And we're going to show you how to master the Amalfi. Um, and, uh, yeah. This is a kiting... Uh, flanking cruiser. So, you've got to know exactly what to do in this ship, or, or you will get decimated. Let's see. Spartan! I think that's him. And the Ognivoy, that's got to be him. Let's see if we can kill him. <laughs> no, we never focus on any specific player. We just play the role that the ship's meant to be played in. So, um, might have to use our rolling smoke here. Pushed in a little aggressively, but I wanted to get the torpedoes off in this channel. Especially these longer range torpedoes. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get out on the edge here on the flank. Good, we got somebody already lined up. Let's see if we can get him. The AP on this thing is very good, very devastating. There's, there he is. Kind of interested in the Ognaboy too. That would be a good ship to, uh, to kind of test out. If we can get some cross shots out him, we will. Um, but again, don't focus specific players, guys. Just play the game how it's meant to be played. How's our uh, Jervis looking? Okay. Citadel him. Devastatingly a efficient AP on broadside ships. Very good. Very good AP. Also effective HE. Who the fuck? What the? John Bart's pushing up a little, little aggressive here. I'm gonna go ahead and use our smoke to get out of this situation. Nice. Uh, let's guess this way. Smoke over there. I don't know, the, the Ognivoy has pretty long range torpedoes, I just don't know the speed on them. So that's one destroyer. It looks like nobody's at A. No, two destroyers together there. So, awesome. We're going to go ahead and get into our retreating roll. It's, uh, you know, you need to be effective in terms of kiting and, and drawing ships away from where they're meant to be. So we're going to try and draw them away from the middle here so they group up on this side. Got a fire on the Richelieu. Actually not detected. There he is. What is our other... It's a Udachi. He's going to gun him down. He's already lost some health, though. If we can get some shots on him, we will. But Udachi's taking a lot of damage. I'm not in a position to help. You, in the Amalfi, you definitely need to help support your ships. And, and it, what that means is... Is, like, you don't have sonar or, or the exact specific tools to hunt down destroyers like that but you have speed and very accurate guns so you need to be taking these mid-range shots at them we're gonna go ahead and drop more torpedoes and hope that uh, maybe he comes around we're not sure if we're detected we know he snuck back around if not we know he's going to get this udachi and we'll be out wide here again we're, we're not hunting down spartan to youtube or anything like that we're, we're we're playing the game how it's meant to be played if you stream snipe or whatever that's pathetic uh, you know learn learn how to do it it's a professional courtesy. But we are, I mean, if he pops up right here, I'm going to shoot his ass. <laughs> I'm going to shoot him down. <laughs> I've played a few games with Spartan. He's a very fun guy to play with. He also does excellent videos, too. He's done a lot for the community. So if we, you know, if we end up with a good game here, so be it. Kagero got our Jervis. We need to be very careful in this situation. Their team is lemon training hard. Yeah, that's also not not great. Jesus. 
Their entire team is right here. Our team at A needs to move the fuck on over right now. Right now. Are you Dachi's dead? Just fucking stupid. No idea what he was doing. We need to go dark here. Got him. I'm going to go ahead and start a repair because we're going to get targeted exponentially by the entire fleet right now. Need to go up, get up to speed and just get the fuck out of here. It's your role as a kiting cruiser. We're gone. We went. We went dark. It's one of the strengths of this ship. It would be nice to get him out of the game. One of the destroyers. We're gonna head, use our our uh, rolling smoke here. Dude, this is frustrating as shit, boys. Also, nobody's shooting at him. Nobody nobody understands the concepts of the game, guys. Do not give up a flank like this. And for the enemy team, do not lemon train. It is just not effective. Probably should have used that smoke a little bit better. <sighs> Holy shit, my team did something. Now they need to fucking move across the rest of the map and support the weak side here. Jesus Christ, dude. But again, this is the role of the Amalfi... You're a kiting cruiser, through and through. The rudder gets it more than any fucking other ship I've seen in my entire life. Holy fuck. Ah! Mainly because it's, it's probably like the only thing that can counter this ship is just taking out its rudder 24-7. There's a permanent fire on him. We got a pink though. Oh my god, that's frustrating as shit. That's okay. Again, knowing your role, surviving. We're gonna need to go dark here soon. He's got a Rishul's got to reload any second. Didn't we didn't use our our smoke the most effective there? Oh shit! Go and get our last heal up. Clean, take this guy down. I'm gonna smack the shit out of this Cleveland too. Our team is seriously trying to throw this game like really hard. Oh Jesus! Thank you, Lord in heaven. Yeah, run, Cleveland, run, you little shit. You don't like it when we turn the tables, huh? Now the turntables. <laughs> Let's go on the offensive now. What do we say, boys? A couple pens there. 75k, a couple defends, one a solo, assistant capture. I'm still. Oh, wait, yeah, it's him spotting me. Never mind. 
Never mind, never mind. Our what a unique, weird battle. Ah. <sighs> We got a rolling smoke back up, so we're gonna again push in and be aggressive. Uh, just do what the team needs. You know, it's uh, it's pretty easy to support your team in this ship. This is a purely supportive role um, ship. You need to know what, what what's going on in the match, what the team is really needing. In that situation, we needed a kiting cruiser to draw them out. They lemon trained so hard into the sea cap, um, leaving nice leaving pretty much everywhere else uh, available, and our team finally, finally pushed over and and did what needed to be done. No torpedo hits, but you have those long-range torpedoes, which can be uh, very surprising and sneaky on some enemies. We're, we know the Cleveland's off to our left here in front of us. Again, our team is just throwing this game. My god. We're winning on points, though, so we don't need to push it. We don't need to be aggressive. Winning by over 400 points. Cleveland's not going to hit me from that distance, but I'm sure would love to smack the shit out of him. This Sharn Horse turns around, we'll, we'll use our smoke and just get out of here. Looks like Sharny's turning around. Alarm incendio. Generatore di fumo avviato. Oof. Problema risolto, signore. Yeah, we're just going to run away. The game calls for us to win. So, I mean, their team is doing all the killing, but I, I don't really care about that. Uh, good for them. Um, we're we're going to be doing the winning. So, again, read the map, read the board. You need to know you need to know your ship and, and the circumstances at which, uh, at which the game involves. We have one Cleveland left, one cruiser up two caps to, to one. Looks like we're going to get maybe one torpedo hit. Hopefully it's a flooding. These torps are notorious for not giving floodings. You just got to... You also got to speak a little RNG into the air. So with a minute left... Uh, he's probably off damage. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and shoot and kite. No more rolling smoke. Only a minute 30 left, though. Up two caps. As long as this Cleveland doesn't die and then we don't get... Either devastating struck by somebody. So again, go ahead and turn the turrets back. It just bounces. It's hard to hit ships like this, but it's equally as, it's almost harder to hit us. Uh, you know, there's a permanent fire. Should be. So yeah, we're just going to maintain angle this entire time. You can get overmatched by I believe 15 and above, but uh, you know, doesn't matter. Uh, because Sean Horse is 11, I think. 11, 12, 11. 280 millimeter, 11. And again, we're just kiting. We're kiting to victory. Uh, we did what we needed to be done. You know, get that a cap so they, they didn't... It took them some time to press it. 100k in the Amalfi is, I think, an excellent game. Enemy team kind of potatoed. Um, they, they left their destroyers out to dry. Spartan uh, was one of them. And they didn't get the capture points. So... You know, we did what needed to be done in our kiting cruiser. It's knowing your role, knowing your ship. And uh, we're going to kite to victory. One more turn here. No devastating strike, though. Yeah. Simply knowing the game and reading the board will get you a lot more victories. And also knowing your ship will get you high XP placement. I don't know what the XP is going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be rather good. Um, 100k, a bunch of, a few medals in terms of, of, like, captures and things like that. Well, only one. And then defense, obviously. Um, but, well, let's see what the board tells us.
Yep, there we go. 2200 XP. Not... Yeah, nothing uh, astonishing. Um, but it's simply knowing your ship, knowing your role, and playing it to its most effective. Their team went for damage, and that's not how you win the game. No medals for high caliber, confederate, any of that on our team, and we still won the game. So again, this game is not a... It's not team deathmatch. It's not who gets the most damage wins. It's not who gets the most devastating strikes. It's simply whoever gets the domination points and survives at the end with the most points. Um, that's what our team did. One assist and capture, three defends there. We prevented them from pushing up. First on the board with 2200. Uh, not a spectacular game, but for a ship that a lot of people say is, is underpowered or not good, uh, first on the board there with some great opponents. I hope that um, that video can be... Or this video can kind of give you guys a hot or some tips on how to master the Amalfi. Uh, that was kind of my purpose for this one. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Make sure to leave a like for the video. Uh, you, you know, gotta gotta play these these Italian cruisers how they're meant to be played. Kiting cruisers, uh, very effective. You know. They're a little difficult to ha get the hang of. I will, I will give you guys that. But when played correctly, this this Amalfi can be absolutely devastating, and you just saw it. Uh, you know, drawing ships out of position. We were faced by six ships there with our concealment and speed. We got out of that situation as well as the smoke. Uh, Could have played it a little bit better, but at the end of the, end of the day, we did what needed to be done and got the victory. So that is mastering the Amalfi, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content, the video. Subscribe for future content. I'm out. Peace.